a good fashion image is really something that transcends beyond you know our day-to-day -day life to show something really beautiful and dark and glamorous and dramatic. Actually, I didn't plan on being a fashion photographer. I started out painting when I was younger. Being in FIT kind of influenced me to try different things, more like fine art photography. It kind of spontaneously evolved into me doing fashion. I'm really excited to be working with Ala Disposition on this project called Powerhouse. Ala Disposition is a fashion house based in New York. We view our clothes very much like fashion sculpture. So our collections often play with proportion and manipulate the silhouette. Powerhouse is something that Ella and the stylist Katie and Ala Disposition came up with together. We wanted the model to really be a character that's very robotic and mechanical. We're like a powerhouse, like somebody indestructible, and it's very strong, and doesn't really care what anyone thinks about her. We were talking about incorporating a lot of elements in order to create a total image. A lot of accessories, a lot of makeup, a lot of hair, the set design, all sort of working together in order to translate the concept. The specific location gave us inspiration to do this very postmodern, ironic take on urban life. The set itself was very sort of industrial and, and extreme, and then we've combined it with this beautiful old world take on photography, using that to soften the edges and really make it much more intriguing. When I made the switch to shooting mostly digital photography a few years ago, I was always looking for ways to make my photography look more like film and more organic, more like grain, which is what I really love. And I found a lot of ways of doing it in post, but using lens babies is really the first time where I was able to get exactly what I wanted in camera. Using the soft focus optic makes my images look a lot like images I used to shoot with toy cameras, like the Holga, for example. So it's like these really abstract, subdued uh, tones of color effects, which I really love. For Powerhouse, since I knew I was going to use the soft focus optic, I asked Katie, the stylist, to get a lot of very sparkly, heavy set jewelry and accessories that we can put on the model, put her in the sunlight, and then I asked the model on set to move very slowly with her hands that have all the rings and bracelets on them, which created all these really amazing effects with all the different aperture discs that are cut in different shapes that I had. So I had a swirl, I had a star, I had stripes. If you use very sparkly things, it creates that shape when you focus in and out. Out, 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 out. Recently, I've been using the composer a lot. It's kind of like very intuitive. I can change it to the sweet spot very quickly. I also like working with the control free because it's easier to get it exactly where you want it to be and stay there. Sometimes I change the optics a lot when I want to use different effects and then see what works best. But sometimes I just see that something is like perfect and then I just stick with it. Different optics give me different effects. The soft focus made it much more romantic and the fisheye made it like colder and quirkier. The extra wide angle just made it really kind of like perfect because it was just like you can see the whole scene like you know it also warps the characters. I think what created a really great balance for the images was this very organic and beautiful vision of photography that Ella has. We have very edgy clothes and Ella's otherworldly photography really lent itself to showing off the collection in a really cool new way. I really love the idea of mixing medias or making one media look like another. Using photography in a way that it feels like painting or it looks like painting is really interesting and, and fun.